Welcome to a new episode of Green Care with Marco. Today we are celebrating the National Nest Box Week with a bird nest. Listening to bird songs have proven to be beneficial to our well-being. During the first lockdown, I found the morning bird chorus as one of the most beneficial activity that brought me comfort and peace. The nesting season is approaching and thanks to the National Nest Box Week, we want to raise awareness about increasing the number of bird boxes around the country. And this can help birds to thrive. So what we are going to do today is to create a nest for birds, or more importantly, a source of material that birds will use to make their own bird nest. What we need for a bird nest is some moss, dry grass, pieces of bark, leaves and ivy. Ivy will be really important because it will support the structure of our nest. So follow me into the wilderness garden and I will show you where to find some of the material that we need for today's activity. Spending time with nature is always a great source of fun and relaxation and you can really appreciate the wonder of nature. Birds use moss for a variety of reasons, but especially for nesting. Moss is known to have antimicrobial properties, which is the reason why birds are believed to line their nest with mosses. Use a trowel to collect the moss, but be careful when collecting moss, as we don't want to harm the environment. Pieces of bark are usually stripped from trees, and this helps birds to insulate their nest. So I'm going to collect some of it from this rotten piece of silver birch. We can also find more material under this tree. For example, twigs and leaves with pieces of bark will be used for the exterior of the bird nest. Now, after a bit of fatigue and enjoyment, we need to go back to the activity table and start assembling our nest. Okay, so we, we're now back at the activity table. So first what we're going to do, we're going to twist the ivy into a circle and be careful because branches can snip but ivy is pretty flexible and we start building the first circle in this way. Then we progress with the inner part of the circle doing the same way that we just done it before and this way. It can be quite tricky, so do not really rush into it. Just also enjoy the time, don't get frustrated, and just have some fun. And if you're doing with some friends now sitting next to you, just have a laugh about it. And this is what you should end up with. Now, the next part of the activity, we need to bring in the moss, which has got beautiful green color and it's really, really soft. The moss will form the base of your nest and we start just placing it at the center in this way. And there we have it. Now we can start to build the rest of the bird nest by adding a little bit of dry grass, pieces of bugs, and if you're lucky enough, this is what I found before in the garden, a beautiful feather of a jay. And hopefully like a jay will start using this bird nest. So let's place it here and I just make a decoration a little bit. And here we have our bird nest. This simple activity can be very beneficial 
for your well-being. And by making something quite simple like this bird nest, we spend more time in nature and enjoy it those. But we can also help wildlife to thrive. Most of the birds will build their own nest by themselves. But this might be a sort of like grey source of material that the birds will start collecting and using for their own bird nest. So look out for the birds in your garden or from your window. This is a simple activity that you can do during the isolation period. And I'm going to see you next week for a new episode of Green Care with Marco, where I'm going to show you how to make your own bird seed mix and see what kind of birds you have recorded as part of the Big Garden Bird Watch Week. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you to the next one. Ciao, ciao.